I'm just glad to be here. You guys enjoyed uh, Dick Williams last night? Yes. I want to say we need a bigger podium or I need, I'm going to, you're in for it today. I bought both Bibles. Oh, man. So look it's out. Serious I hope, I hope God yeah. reveals it. Whatever he wants. You know, I it's just, I wasn't going to read this one, but it just leaped out at me. No weapon formed against you will succeed, and you will refute any accusations raised against you in court. This is the heritage of the Lord's servants. Aren't we a chosen group of people? Aren't we his servants? Don't we do his will? Don't we want to do more in our lives, in our Christian lives for him? You see, everyone has a life, but we have a Christian life, and we need to walk the, the tightrope that he's put us on. Okay? Yeah, they said I'm on line. I said, no, I might fall off uh, the line. I'm thinking of a tightrope. I doubt if I could even walk the white line, let alone a tightrope. Anyway, this is, God is so good. He's been so good for us. We, uh, he's given us a well that is... Uh, just about as unpredictable as the weather can be. And uh, sometimes there's water in it, sometimes there's not. And I think there's a river down there just waiting for us to tap into. The news is, right now, there is new rivers forming in the deserts. Okay, rivers of water in the deserts? How can that be? It, can be because of the Lord, because of God. He created everything. He did it because he said in his word, long ago in his word, that there would be rivers in the desert. And the deserts will bloom. It's already happened. Thank you, Lord. So... Can you say the Spirit of the Lord is on you or with you? The Bible says, the Word says in Luke, good answer, Luke 4.18, the Spirit of the Lord is on me and you because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recover the sight of the blind, to release the oppressed, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Now that is about the Lord, but it's also about us because further on in this Bible, it says the things that Jesus did, we shall do also. Amen. And I feel more so in these latter days, we're, we will be the apostles of the old. We will be just like the 12 apostles that we can go ab about doing the original plan God had for Adam to lead a more holy life so we can do this. The apostles were very holy men. They, now we have women, and some are more holier than the men. Come on, guys. Come on. Amen? Some are. Uh, but we do need to let our light shine. Remember, preached about the light, don't put it, hide it, don't hide your light that he has for you. And don't, don't be a pillar of salt. Be the salt that he needs. The Bible talks about the salt. We want to be the flavor for the rest of the world. The flavor, we, we don't necessarily want to be a show off for the Lord, no. I want to do his will, whatever his plan is for me. I want to do that. I don't know who's listening in on the web or will be listening, but I just pray right now, before I get too far in the word, that God open all of our ears to our heart, ears to our mind, that we will take in your word, apply it to our lives, 
so that we may become fulfilled people, fulfilled in the Word of God, fulfilled in all of His promises. Even the, the world's sad, but yet the Bible say, Let, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. The world is is at war many places, but you proclaim peace. So we proclaim peace in our lives because you are the Prince of Peace. And the only way the rest of the world's going to catch it is to find Christ Jesus as their personal Savior. How, somebody might ask. It's simple. It's simple. Little kids are receiving Jesus Christ. Little kids, eight years old, are preaching the gospel. Eight years old, think about it. And they go around touching people and they're healed. What about us adults? I'm 80 plus. Uh, does God favor a certain person? No, it's just that that person is in God's perfect plan. Do you get that? Amen. In his perfect plan. So we can't be perfect. The Bible says that no one's perfect, but we can be near perfect. We could work at being better. In other words, strive to do the best you can. We can't, uh, we can't just be Sunday Christians. I'll put it that way. We don't want that. And I don't, I don't know who's hearing me right now or will hear me. Wipe that smile off. <laughs> he, he must know something I don't. Uh, so anyhow, the world can hate us for what we are and for the way we believe, right? But heaven's worth it all. Amen? Amen. And heaven is our future dwelling place. The world hated the disciples. It didn't stop them. They kept going forth, going forth. They kept doing God's plan for them. We got to remain in him. And his word must remain in us. And we can ask whatever we wish. Guess what? I'm not going to ask for a Rolls Royce. <laughs> I'm going to ask what he promised to give me. He promised us water. And Lord, I ask you to give us abundance of water. But more important to me than water that you drink is the water from your well into my soul. Give us that water, each one of us, in our souls. Wash our mind clear of the daily... Uh, No, just the daily. Amen, the daily. It's like everyone has the, the daily you go through life. They do the daily thing. We don't need to do the daily thing. We d need to do the extraordinary, Lord. It's more than daily. So, if, if we pay attention, we'll be walking in our Father's glory. And guess what? When we walk in his glory, we will bear much fruit. Good, 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 good. So we have, we're just, he gives us commandments. Did you know that? The commandment thing didn't end with the Old Testament. The commandment, number one, of course, is to love others, but also to love him. Love him first and then love others. Uh, does that, that mean supporting each other. Encourage one another. Let people know you love them. Does that sound strange? Well, it would to the, a worldly person. Uh, you know, it's interesting. I remember being around people who were drunk. I love you, buddy. You're the best friend I could ever have. I love you. You're all... You're all I ever need in my friendship. You're it. And then sober up. Blankly blank to that guy. Yeah, we're not like that. 
Our love is sincere from the rivers of life that the Lord has given to us, the Holy Spirit. It flows in us, through us. It's not for me, it's for everyone else. What am I going to do with the river of life? If I dam it up, what's it going to do? I'll get sick, maybe. I'll trip, I'll fall. But when I give it out, it's got to be a continuous flow. It can't just flow on Sunday, Wednesday, uh, or maybe Saturday. Uh, it can't flow uh, unpredictably. It's got to be flowing in the Spirit. Amen? Amen. Who am I talking to tonight, Amen. today? Amen. 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 Okay. Maybe I need to talk a little louder. Uh, uh, so far, where's that scripture for? Um, I don't know, I'm on the wrong page. That's okay. There's a lot of pages to choose from in this word, and they're all good. <laughs> so here we are, and uh, eight of Romans. I like Romans. It's what I quoted earlier. If you want to look it up, it's Romans 8, 11. And if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through the spirit who lives in you. Let's all go down to the river and walk on water. Cry, cry. Let's go down there and pray first. You're right pastor we'll go to the river and pray but I'm not ready to walk on water but I, if he said walk on water I'd I'd either drown or I'd walk on water it's it's one or the other we got to do anything that's going to bring more people to salvation someone said whatever it takes for as long as it takes uh I would rather fly, I think. No, I wouldn't because I'd fall. Well, what's worse, dropping dead or drowning? I don't know. It, it's all good. What takes more it's, it's, all, it's all good, you know that? <laughs> David, it's all good. Whatever he has for us, it's got to be good. Uh, Absolutely. And I did that scripture already. So... God is precious, and I know in Luke, did I read Luke 14, 18? If I did, that's good, I'm gonna read it again. The spirit, of the, Lord, the spirit of the Lord is on me. The Spirit of the Lord is on us. I want us to go all week thinking that. Every day when you have a, a bit of a quiet time, Say that to yourself. Your spirit is on me. It's, it says, on. Because he has anointed me to preach the good news. We're all ministers. We all minister the good news. Willie ministers the good news to me quite often. I'm happy he does. Let's give, let's give that man a hand for all the work he's done. He ministers in his... Uh, knowledge of how to construct what he's constructed here at the church. And he's not, it, not a carpenter per se, but he follows the greatest carpenter of all, Jesus. And he prays about what he does. Yeah. And he gets advice from Jesus, the greatest carpenter. He's also the greatest physician you'll ever have. He, yeah. Does anyone have a testimony about something great that he has done? It's not fair to ask you that right now, but think about it. He has helped us all, and he is with us all. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I still got stuff to talk about. All right. Here is Romans 12.1. It says there, I beseech you, brothers, by the mercies of God, 
you Christians, that you present yourself as a living sacrifice, holy, blameless, blameless, that's a good word, acceptable unto the Lord, which is your reasonable service. His blood was spilt that we could do his reasonable service. His blood on that cross at the whipping post, even in the garden when he prayed, Father, if it's possible, take this cup from me. So he, the man inside of Christ did not want to suffer. He knew what was up. And it says, as he prayed, great drops of blood fell from his head. And I know, I know that's possible. Medically speaking, from what I've read, it happens to people. It can happen. Stress. So, I don't want stress. I want life everlasting, first of all. And I want life on earth to be full of his goodness. Who disagreed with me? Did I hear a disagreement? Well, I didn't hear a, if you don't say anything, that's like a disagreement, isn't it? You think, oh, what's he trying to tell me? Is he thinking about me? I'm not thinking about anyone. I'm just thinking about what the Lord would have me to say. So we have to come to that conclusion that we need more from us. We need more of the river that's flowing through us, like the Bible says, to touch others. Have you ever been in a flood? Have you ever had the water rise around you real fast? And you're thinking, it's not going to get any higher. And it does. It can get higher and higher. And it, you're, next thing you know, you see it on TV occasionally where uh, some place in some state, they're in their car floating. The car is still floating. And the person is turning the steering wheel towards the bank. Well, that will never happen. <laughs> as far as I know, the wheels aren't a rudder. It don't work like a boat. <laughs> it, it won't go to the bank. <laughs> so we have to watch what we get ourselves into, Christians. We need to be careful that we are not stepping into deeper water that we shouldn't be into. We have the river of life, but there's a polluted river out there, the river of death. We keep away from that because I'll tell you what, I almost died in a, a, a nice, clean, pristine river. And I was a kid, and I was jumping up and down off the bedrock. And then the water, I got out there where the water was moving. And pretty soon it got a little bit deeper as I was jumping. And I didn't know what to do. I was just a little kid. So I, I went up. <gasps> then I went down again. Now I jumped real hard. And then I went down, and I couldn't come up anymore. And I saw a bright light above me, and I felt peace. It didn't bother me. The next thing I knew, a person was there. I grabbed a hold of that person, practically drowned my sister trying to get on, get on her shoulders if I could. I would have. But she took me out of that desperate situation. Eight years old, and that is desperate for a kid. Don't know how to swim. Yeah, I still can't swim too well, the truth be known. Um, but let the real waters, the living waters, you have, we all have the living water in us. Let the living waters do its thing, do its precious thing, flow. So I could tell you everything that will dam up the living waters. Who has an idea what will dam it up? Huh? I'm thinking pride will dam it up for me. Now that I'm speaking for my own self, a spirit, a spirit of pride, you're no good. God doesn't use pride. The Lord won't use pride. All right. Anger. Okay. Uh, bad verbiage. Drunkenness. The Bible warns about all that. 
And if anyone has trouble with those things, and that's just a small portion of what dams up you, you Christians in your life, just a small portion. It's time for Christians to rededicate their lives and let the river of the Lord flow in you. Whoever you are, let it happen. Say, Lord, I'm ready. I want more of you and less of me. And Father God, I make that prayer personal. Lord, I want more of you and less of me. No worries, no fears, just more of you because you are my joy, my peace. Show me a joyful person and I'll show you a person that doesn't worry. Worry destroys our joy. Many people out there are worried. It destroys their walk with Christ. Lord, we thank you for this time. We ask that we right now rededicate our lives, dedicate our lives anew to being more Christ-like. And if there's a person out there that don't even know you as Savior, that listen to me all the way through to the end, and you know you're not saved, some of you know the prayer, may know the prayer, others don't, and it's simple. Lord, Jesus, come into my life. I want to have you as my Savior and take you into my life in such a way that I'll follow you. I will be as obedient as I can. I will listen for your voice and I will obey you. Give us help now we pray in Jesus' name, amen.